Hello, Roll Mithril here once again, getting back to Cuphead, the delicious last course. Uh, yeah, it's uh, been a bit. Real life has been a thing. I've talked about this over on my social media. So, uh, yeah. But we're back to it now. And, well, all that's left to do is take the ingredients back to Chef Saltbaker. After beating that last boss, we got the achievement of Vacation in the Wilds, which was for beating every boss on the island, so I mean, we're, we're done with all the bosses. What could possibly go wrong? I'm sure it's fine. Hmm. That's not unsettling at all. Open trap door and... Weirdly skipping music? I'm sure it's fine. Uh huh. Welcome back, you meddlesome brats. I didn't think you'd be back so soon. No matter. It's too late to stop me now. The Wonder Tart will be my finest work yet. A shame I never told you about the most important secret ingredient. A living soul. While you suckers were out doing my bidding, I nabbed your little friend here. Curse your sudden and inevitable betrayal! When her soul is baked into the Wonder Tart, the cosmic powers of the astral plane will be mine. Cuphead, Mugman, you gotta help me. But first, I'll take those ingredients, and then I'll use your heads as serving dishes. So, uh, yeah. I was spoiled on a little bit of this. Not much, though. I was only really spoiled on the fact that, well, he is a boss. You know, YouTube spoiler thumbnails, it was inevitable, really. Which, I mean, to be fair, he's a suspiciously boss-sized character and has the power to control life and death, so, uh, yeah, I kind of saw it coming anyway. I have no idea what all he does. <laughs> Animal crackers. And he's having way too much fun abusing the ingredients. Okay. Marinate in your defeat while I complete this astral treat. Okay, so one, two, very short third phase, and then a final phase that's also not very long from the looks of it. So four phase fight. But yeah, like I said, all I've seen is thumbnails that showed Salt Baker was a boss, but I didn't really see anything showing what he does. So yeah, it's easy to get distracted by the animation, because as always, it's really good. <laughs> Okay. A great and Let's see if this does any better. A uh, bit too much going on there. Not quite sure what that fiery thing is right off. For some reason, trying to figure that out is distracting me. And I jumped right into a lime wedge. But I was close to the end of that phase. It's the same death quote, so I don't know if the second phase is just an extension of the first. So crack shot does work well here. Here's a real last here goes. So we do have pink sugar cubes for parries. Which come to think of it, isn't that actually a charm parry sugar? I forget what exactly that one does. Okay, the animal crackers can be attacked to get rid of them. Landed right on a lime. Is 
that actually going to reach? Yeah, it looks like it did. Well, something's happening. Uh. Okay. Pepper, all right. Okay, I have to attack the pepper shakers. Uh, hi there, Leaf Shield! <laughs> hi there, very clearly a woodman attack, the leaves floating down from the top. <laughs> my power grows with much aplomb, your end here upon my palm. Okay, so it's a fairly straightforward phase. I understand what to do. I have to attack the pepper shakers, which means Crackshot might not be the best idea for this phase. I'm going to go ahead and switch things around just a little bit. If I hit the right buttons, I am anyway. Uh, let's see. I mean, spread usually feels like the attack I tend to go back to the most. I'm going to make that my shot B and crack shot for shot A. Let's try that for now. Also, just as long as I'm here, I just want to see what that was. Uh, parry sugar, automatic parry. The first parry move is automatic. All you need to do is jump. Okay, so yeah, not really a charm I want to use, but I just think it's interesting that that is a charm. And I'm pretty sure that's what it looked like when you bought it from Pork Grind, was just a pile of pink sugar cubes. Okay. So yeah, we actually made it pretty far on that one. Not perfectly, but hey. For early attempts, it's not going badly. Also, I just noticed the crack in his nose there. Here's a real... Because, yeah, I think the things he's attacking you with here are supposed to be the ingredients you got. Like, the animal crackers were just cut out of the distillery dough. And there's the gnome berries, the desert limes. I guess that's supposed to be the, uh, the ice sugar or whatever it was called. Still can't really figure out what the, uh, that fire is supposed to be. It just seems to be an obstacle all by itself, not really a reference to anything, I guess. Also, I guess the leaves we see here, maybe that's supposed to be the pineapple mint. Didn't quite dash in time. Huh. Actually, did worse there. The thing with Crackshot is it will, I guess, go after the Pepper Shakers because they're the only viable targets, but the damage gets spread, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. With spread, I have to get closer to them, which means the danger of being right there when the Shakers sneeze and that uh, hits me with their projectiles. I still think having a more aimed option is probably a good idea overall. Okay, so the lime slices actually work like boomerangs, good to know. So yeah, the tells in back, they will let you know which attack is coming up, so it is worth paying attention to them. Just don't pay too much attention to them to where you're ignoring everything else. Uh, lost track of the fire.
Also, it's easy to overlook the mint leaves as they're coming down. And yeah, there is another parry opportunity here with the pink peppers. And I just walked right into the fire. Getting close to the end of this phase. Though I almost feel like I was actually going faster with just sticking with crack shot. So I'm gonna try that again. We won't switch this time. Crackshot just really wants you to remember it's an incredibly good shot type. Yeah, I don't really think I want to save my super for this phase because I don't feel like it would do all that much. Oh yeah, crack shot is definitely working better here. <laughs> I'm launching the shakers at him way faster with this. Okay, something's happening. Oh, that's his shattered body in the background. We broke him. Uh, oh. Okay. This took a turn. Wait. I thought it was four phases. That was the end? I went full concentration mode there at the end. Still got gold on time despite being over two minutes, so there is some wiggle room there. So yeah, I mean, Crackshot's just the boss in that fight. But... I only counted three actual phases, so one of them must be kind of a transition phase or something. Miss Chalice. Thank goodness you're okay. That dastardly salt baker, he had his hoodwinked the whole time. Gadzooks, this place is coming down. Let's get out of here. Eek! Ah! No, my bakery! Serves him right for duping us. With well, the bakery destroyed, you're never gonna get that wonder tart, Chalice. That's okay. If some poor soul has to be sacrificed for me to live again, it just ain't worth it. But mark my words, boys, I'm never gonna stop searching. And in the meantime, if you ever find yourselves in a scrape, I'm just one cookie bite away. Besides, who needs a wonder tart when they can have two new best pals instead? The epilogue. Ah, uh, Saltbaker getting arrested. I am Chef Saltbaker. I have been a naughty crow. Sentence to community service. Honorable Judge Wise. I 
He's having to remake the ingredients, I guess. <laughs> and brush a whale's teeth. So, yeah, the DLC was great, and we still have more to go, even. Because, yeah, they're still checking out what the graveyard's all about. Even getting some chess battles in here, or while they're playing checkers. And he even gets his own theme song in the background there. Okay, so kind of a defeat means friendship thing going on here, it looks like. Our sincere appreciation to the members of our team whose loyalty and creative endeavor made possible this production. But man, yeah, I mean, again, the just the flavor of this game, it's amazing. I love the artwork, the music. They captured the style of that era of cartoons so perfectly in this, and just the... Oh. Mischief was on the menu. Now the debts are paid, the pastries are baked. There is one thing left to say the delicious last course. Delicious last course. Delicious last course. Got distracted by the music there. Sudden different lyrics to the original theme song. But yeah, the, going through this was really nice. And like I said, we're not done yet, because I still have to get the A-plus against Salt Baker. They're still checking out what the graveyard is all about. There's also going to be uh, one more video that I'm going to do right now uh, for showing off those battles that have uh, different phases depending on how you do things. So I'll be doing that too. I think the plan for now is I'm going to do those three videos. This one, the graveyard, and the different phases. And then we're going to take a break from Cuphead for a while. Uh, those who've been watching other, project, other projects on the channel, I'm going to be going back to Battle Network 5 at that point. But uh, this is something we'll be coming back to occasionally, I think. Because we'll come back to it to do things like chalice runs, and if people are interested, I may also try and do S-rank runs. But that'll be something in the future. Baker's Shakers. <laughs> but man, yeah, this, this was a treat to play. But yeah, that last phase of the Salt Baker fight, I went super concentration mode on that. I think the main thing I was wondering is, the heart was pink, was I supposed to parry it? <laughs> I'm not sure on that. <laughs> oh wait, okay, I just realized, it is four phases. The phase where it's just the salt kind of dancing around, I think I just blazed through that phase real quickly using my super, because that was the one that on the meter looked like that phase was really short, so that's what that was. Got it now. It just went by so quickly, I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> also, I think I was kind of distracted by how creepy it was seeing uh, Salt Baker's shattered body in the background. <laughs> But man, yeah, I mean, the level of detail with all the animations, all the artwork, I can definitely see why this, uh, why the DLC ended up taking as long as it did, and it was definitely worth it. I 
very much enjoyed this experience. Like, legit, I have this game on both Steam and the Switch. I'm looking forward to playing through it all again over on the Switch. Because, yeah, over on the Switch file, I have actually been trying to get the S ranks, which, uh... I stalled out in fighting Wally Warbles. For some reason, that fight... I think it's the extra eggs during that phase where he has the egg shield. That causes me no end of trouble. It's, uh, I think when you're fighting the, the baby bird. But, yeah. And Finn. Okay, so, yeah, let's see what happens if we start the game up again. Just see if there's any immediate alerts I need to worry about. <laughs> I have a star and a cupcake now on my file. Okay, so yeah, nothing quite new. We're right here at the bakery. So yeah, I'm just going to refresh the recording file and we'll get right back to it. Oh! Well, now we get to see that this fight actually does have a title. Chef Salt Baker in A Dish to Die For. Also, now I can select Expert Difficulty here on the DLC island, it looks like. And also, I guess this particular fight only has Regular or Expert. Good to know. But we're just sticking with Regular for now. Okay, everything's falling down. Well, you landed right on me, so let's see what the death quote is for this phase. Your futile efforts were in vain. This world will be my salt domain. Fair enough. So, yeah, watch out for the salt dancers as they come onto the screen. I think they can fall just about anywhere. <laughs> Lessons learned! This phase ends pretty quickly. If I use the super. Yeah, it's already over. And I fell in a pit. Well, let's get the death quote for the final phase, anyway. I still have to get the one for that shorter phase. Also, let's find out, can I parry the heart? I can! That's interesting. Good to know. The mark of my salinity shall scar thy fired glaze. Given up on the rhymes. So, uh, yeah. At least we know you can parry the heart. That's actually kind of interesting. Parry the boss itself. A brawl is brewing. And begin. So beating Salt Baker did give me a couple of new achievements. First off, I got Ranger for beating all of the bosses of Inkwell Isle 4 with at least an A rank. Second was compliments to the chef for finishing the quest of Inkwell Isle 4. So basically just beating Salt Baker and getting the end credits. So that's where we are for now. Phase 1 gets very busy. But it went fairly quickly. Phase 2, it can be easy to overlook a projectile here and there. So just use caution. Oh 
Okay, everything's coming down. Onto this phase. Whoa, nice try putting me that close to that. Okay, switching over to Chaser. I feel like that's going to be better on this phase. It's another of those issues where the uh, crack shot tends to have problems actually tracking this thing. So I feel like doing more constant damage, even if it's somewhat lesser, yeah, that went pretty fast. So I think we should be good. Heck yeah, we even did it faster! So, there we go. A+. Plus. It is weird that I saw my previous score was an A-, minus, but I didn't get Ranger until beating Salt Baker. And the Ranger achievement was get A against everyone, so I guess A- minus still counts, or else there's a bug. So yes, we get the ending again. I highly doubt it's going to do anything different just because we got an A-plus rank, though. But, yeah. With that, A-plus against Salt Baker. Overall, it's a very frantic but doable fight, I would say. I feel like, of all things, what gave me the most trouble is in the first couple of phases, that blasted fireball, especially in phase one. Okay, yeah, we can skip this because we've already seen it. But, uh, yeah. Phase one of that fight, it gets frantic with all of the ingredients flying around, but it's the fireball that I feel like got in my way the most. The other thing that could kind of give me trouble sometimes was the gnome berry slices. So often, that would happen right when I was about to use the super, and my invincibility would run out just as there just happened to be a berry slice right where I was. So, yeah, that's a bit of a thing. Phase 2 and 3 really aren't that bad, and Phase 4, yeah, Chaser makes that go by a lot faster. As good as Crackshot is, it does have that problem of keeping up with faster moving targets, and Chef Baker, er, Chef Baker, Salt Baker's heart is definitely that. It moves quickly, so you're gonna be missing a lot of shots with that, unfortunately. So even though Chaser does less damage, it racks up hits faster, and that's important. But with that, next time, we're getting spooky. We're checking out the graveyard. So with that, thank you very much for watching, I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.